or the more closely you will work with them or something? Uh, only if you if you kind of fall in love with them, because otherwise you don't really care. Right. Like, but when you fall in love with someone, you want to understand, you want to possess them and understand them and be able to predict them. Right. And then, because you're intensely interested, you right. realize that you, you can't fully understand what they're going to do, and so right. therefore they become more mysterious. But if you're not in love with them, you don't really give a damn, and so you don't really notice it. So well. how do you learn? I, I agree with you 100%. How do you learn this shit? Because I think I've been so arrogant my whole life. I just... How do you learn that shit? Well, I just know when I get obsessed with a girl, I'm just like, then the more mysterious and the more the more she spirals out of my control. The more I try to control her, yeah, the more she spirals out of my control. It becomes maddening and like, how can I ever understand her? And, and how could she do she, this shit to yeah, me? Yeah, how could you do this to me? And then it's, it's only because I'm totally smitten by her that she becomes so mysterious. If yeah. I wasn't mysterious, she'd be like as predictable as heck. And is this, I mean, <laughs> yes, yes. I like uh, chapter 42, verses 27 and 28, um, when they found s some money in the sack. Their hearts sank, and they turned trembling to one another, saying, What is this that God has done to us? And yeah. like when things go bad, you go, What is this that God yeah. has done to me? I yeah. mean, uh, I don't know, maybe my faith is lacking, but I, I, I never say that. When things get bad? Yeah, I never yeah. say what has God what done to me. Right, right. Well, what I don't <laughs> feel like God is like <laughs> directing things. It's like, oh, I'm right. sending that driver to smash into Luke Ford's car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be. It's kind of nice. It's a little refreshing because sometimes I feel like people are, are. Uh, I think secular people generally have this complaint that religious people are constantly thanking God for the blessings in their life, but then when things go wrong, they they seem. Hey, that's you. There, there I am. <laughs> <laughs> There, there's the paper. <laughs> Here, I'll even show this to, to the audience. <laughs> so I'm listening to the Super Bowl. It's the last minutes of the uh, January 2000 Super Bowl, where St. Louis, perhaps the best Super Bowl ever played, St. Louis beat uh, uh, Tennessee. Uh, the game went down to the last play of the game, so like there are two minutes left, and I'm listening to it on my... Yellow oh, you're Walkman. listening to it yeah. at your feet. Yeah, because I don't want to lose the <laughs> miss out. That's so. terrible. Good that's Tina Tyler there applying the pain. How much more absurd could a situation be than, than the guy being uh, whipped by a porn star as he conscientiously listens to his Walkman to make sure he doesn't miss the end of the game? Actually, that's gender relations right there. Even when they're on, you're on your knees, like like uh, uh, smacking you, you don't really care. You still just want to hear how the game goes. Exactly. <laughs> You, by the way, Luca has very muscular thighs. I, I would not have known that otherwise. But I'm, I'm actually very surprised at the at the uh, uh, circumference and 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 muscularity of your thighs. <laughs> well, check out that picture, people. Like, let, let's, let's not. Let's yeah, just put in Luke Paul no. and Tidy Whitey. Um, I think if I can find those pics from my uh, skinny dipping days with with Kendra Kendra Jade and. Uh, uh, they're not they're not coming up immediately, but uh, those were the days. Oh, skinny dipping in the sun with two hot checks. That's beautiful. I really think I think you should be right. I mean, in my own opinion, in my world, I think you should be rightly proud of pictures like that. I think it's a beautiful thing. I think there's not you're not doing anything wrong, and I think that that um, anyone who has a problem with it is their problem. For what that's worth, it's not. I know that. All right, so I, I'm going to have to go to this um, interracial gay Christmas party. Um, oh, so there I am with Holly Randall, September 2005. So that's when we really met up in Florida. Were the two Were the two of you together? Yeah, we were together for a few months. I don't know. Good God. Good God. I was wearing my T-shirt there. Good Not God. Much else. Those were the days I'd sing and dance forever in a day. It was the life we lived. We thought we'd live and never die. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, for? those were the days. Oh, those were the days. La 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 la. Is that like Tennessee? La 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 la. It's just a famous song. That's a that's a wonderful picture. I mean, to me, happier days. What were were they happier? Who knows? They were more carefree, I don't. Right. So I had more checks. 
where it was. But this was you. You'd already you were already, you'd already converted to Orthodox. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so for a while you you kept. Um, I'm I'm going to be putting on my shoes because I have to go to this thing. But you you um, for a while you kept you straddled both worlds, kind of. Yes, straddled both worlds. Straddled quite a few worlds. Straddled quite a few worlds. And then so and then at some point though you made it <laughs> right by whip whip bearing women. Um. But at some point, you decided to go harder on the on the on the Orthodox Judaism yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, I uh, quit writing on the porn industry. Why? Because somebody somebody. Because my rabbi told me to, or he kicked me out. <laughs> he kicked me out anyway. He kicked you out anyway. <laughs> Was it the same one? Yeah. So what do you think? Are you think you're going to go back to? Nah. No. Why? Nah. It's a ghetto. It's like it's like it's too easy. It's like being there, done that, and it it ghetto ghettoizes you from everything else in life, and so. Like I, I was there for 12 years. That's more than enough time right, okay. to serve in the salt mines of the pornography <laughs> industry. And you can't just do it. I like paid my dues, you and it's, you know it's really hard to um, to leverage your your time in the porn industry. You leverage it elsewhere to, 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 to greater effect elsewhere. It's like where do you bounce after? Right. You know what does it qualify you for? You, you, you know you immediately go into investment banking. I mean, what, what is the, True enough, but there's a lot of like the Los Angeles Times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's got to be ways. Like, I mean, sex still. Well, I don't know. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. That's a really interesting. God, I no, I really do think Luke like happier days. Yeah, I mean, someone who hates on that picture to me, like, how can you, what what is there to hate in that? 